Hi, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today we're going to learn about apology. But before I begin, for this video I'm just going to use informal pronunciation. For those of you who still not clear yet what is informal pronunciation, please watch my number 53 video which is about confusing pronunciation. So regarding our topic today, apology, so first one, sorry. Sorry in Malay is maaf. Maaf. Both words people use, but commonly people use the word sorry. So if you want to say sorry or you want to add lah at the back, that's also correct. Sorry lah in terms of persuasion. Sorry lah. Or you may also say maaf lah. Maaf lah. But normally sorry lah sounds so Casual than the maaf. Next words, forgive me. Forgive me, maafkan saya. Maafkan saya. So, maaf ya, sorry, right? Maafkan, like imperative, saya. Refer to me. So, maafkan here, forgive, and saya, me. Maafkan saya. Or another word, ampun. Ampun. Ampunkan saya. So, it's also has same meaning like maafkan saya. But normally the word ampun sounds so classic. And also among royals, also they will use this word ampun. But among regular people, some people also say ampun. Ampunkan saya. Some people imagine that like it's really deepest feeling of asking for forgiveness. Some people feel like that, but that depends. But you may say with your friends, no big deal about that. So you may say, maafkan saya or ampunkan saya. Talking about forgiveness, now we move on to ask for forgiveness. So you will hear the word, minta maaf. Minta maaf. So the real word actually, minta. Minta. But for speaking, we add K at the back, then it becomes minta, minta. So, minta maaf. That's basically how people say, minta maaf. So, if you want to say sorry, other than you say just maaf, then you can say also minta maaf as a sign of asking for forgiveness. So, if it's really informal form, then it will be meminta, meminta. Kemaafan. Okay. Kemaafan. So, prefix ke plus the root word maaf plus the suffix an. So, kemaafan. So, meminta kemaafan. But you can also just say meminta maaf. This is formal form. Informal way would be minta maaf. Minta maaf. And same goes with the ampun. So, minta ampun. Minta Ampun. So, if it's in the formal form, then it will be meminta keampunan. Meminta keampunan. So, the prefix ke plus the root word ampun plus the suffix an. So, keampunan. So, meminta keampunan or meminta ampun. So, I give you options how you can say to people, saya minta maaf or Saya nak minta maaf sangat. That's also accepted. Or just, saya nak minta maaf. So basically, saya is I. Nak hear from the root word hendak. So we shorten to nak, minta maaf. And then the word sangat, which means very. So it's like, I really want to ask for forgiveness. Or I'm very, very sorry. Something like that. So... Saya nak minta maaf or even without nak, you can also say saya minta maaf and then you say and then you put sangat at the back. So, saya nak minta maaf sangat or saya nak minta maaf or saya minta maaf. And another option, we talking about ampun, right? So, you have saya nak minta ampun sangat, okay? Or saya nak minta ampun. Or just mention, saya minta ampun. Okay, that's all accepted.
character and another phrase saya sorry sangat saya sorry sangat so it means i'm very sorry saya i sorry sorry here sangat is very so sangat you can put at the back and also at the front of the sorry however for speaking people comfortable to use the word sangat at the back so saya sorry sangat However, people don't say, saya maaf sangat. People don't say something like that. They just say, saya sorry sangat. Which implies, I'm very sorry. And then, continue again. Saya tak sengaja. Saya tak sengaja. So, it means, I don't mean to. It's not my intention. Oh, accidentally. Okay, saya, I, tak from the word tidak, which means not. And sengaja means something with intention. So, tak sengaja, you did without intention. So, I don't mean to. Saya tak sengaja. Or, another option, saya tak bermaksud macam tu. Saya tak bermaksud macam tu. Or, another option, you can say, saya tak bermaksud nak buat macam tu. Saya tak bermaksud nak buat macam tu. So, it means, I don't mean to do that. So, saya, I, tak from the word tidak, which means not. And bermaksud, from the root word maksud, which means mean. So, bermaksud means, have mean, okay? So, tak bermaksud is, don't mean. Nak from the word hendak, which means want. Buat is do, macam is like. To from the word itu, which means that. So, it's like, I don't mean to do that. And then you can continue again. Saya tak tahu kata-kata saya sakitkan hati awak. Saya tak tahu kata-kata saya sakitkan hati awak. So, it means, I didn't know that my words hurt your feeling. So, saya, I, tak tahu from the words, tidak tahu. Tidak, not or don't, tahu is, no. Kata-kata, words, kata-kata saya, my words. Sakit is pain. So, sakitkan, kan here like imperative. Sakitkan hati awak. Hati awak, your heart. Okay, so I translate here also your feeling. So, in case if you want to translate that feeling, then you can say perasaan awak. So, saya tak tahu kata-kata saya sakitkan hati awak. Or, saya tak tahu kata-kata saya sakitkan perasaan awak. Saya tak tahu kata-kata saya lukakan perasaan awak. Sakitkan hati awak or lukakan hati awak. So, basically, if it's hurt feeling, then you have like sakitkan hati or lukakan hati or lukakan perasaan. That's about it. Or, you may also say, saya tak tahu perbuatan saya sakitkan hati awak. Saya tak tahu perbuatan saya sakitkan hati awak. Or, saya tak tahu apa saya buat sakitkan hati awak. Or, saya tak tahu perbuatan saya lukakan hati awak. Or, lukakan perasaan awak. Or, saya tak tahu apa saya buat sakitkan hati awak. Or, Lukakan hati awak or lukakan perasaan awak. So basically it means I didn't know that my behaviour hurt your feeling. So I, saya, tak tahu from the word tidak tahu, don't know. Perbuatan behaviour, perbuatan saya, my behaviour, apa is what saya is I. Buat is to sakitkan from the root word sakit, pain or hurt. Hati, heart, awak is you. In this case, it's your. Hati awak, your heart. Or if your feeling, perasaan awak. So, in case if it's like perasaan, then you normally say lukakan perasaan awak. That's about it. Then you may make a promise. Saya janji takkan buat lagi. Saya janji takkan buat lagi. So, I promise I won't do that again. Saya, I. Janji is promise. Actually, is berjanji. That's the formal Malay. 
However, for speaking, we just say janji. Takkan from the word tidak, not or don't plus the word akan. So, it's like will not. So, takkan means won't. So, do what lagi again here. So, I promise I won't do that again. Takkan here is won't. And then you can also use the word please. Please forgive me. Tolong maafkan saya. Tolong maafkan saya. Or, tolong ampunkan saya. Tolong ampunkan saya. So, tolong here is please. And forgive me is maafkan saya or ampunkan saya. And it will be really ouch ouch if the response is like this. I forgive you but I never forget. So, in Malay it means saya maafkan awak tapi saya takkan lupa. Saya maafkan awak tapi saya takkan lupa. Or if you want to add will, will means akan. So, it will be saya akan maafkan awak tapi saya takkan lupa. So, saya I akan is will maafkan awak forgive you tapi but saya I takkan from the word tidak not plus akan will so won't lupa forget. So, saya akan maafkan awak tapi saya takkan lupa. Oh, saya maafkan awak tapi saya takkan lupa. Well, I guess that's our lesson for now. Thank you very much for watching me. And if you like my video, please check out my Patreon page so that I can have more time to make more videos. For those of you who support me through this media, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who's watching me right now, thank you very much. And till we meet again then, bye.